Hi guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous, over the top beautiful day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization on this gorgeous, it is Thursday morning, <clears throat> August 13th, 2020 here at Bugs in a Jar Farm outside of Ithaca, New York. I am Sam Mitchell, this is Collapse Chronicles and this is my little co-pilot Sancho Panza beating a dead horse. We are just, uh, I, I don't know what my failure to communicate is. You know, people ask me uh, why I do this here on YouTube, uh, and, I, and I guess my answer, if, if I can get one person because of anything I have to say, if, if one person on this planet has one less child, uh, then I have served my purpose. And uh, so once again, let, let's go over this. So I just did this rant a couple of days ago, um, going over there on, I think I was on Global Footprint Network or Earth Overshoot. Once again, what they were doing uh, in their chart was showing this graph, the, the 10 top ways, you know, things you can do to save the planet, to lower your environmental, ecological carbon footprint, the 10 top things you can do. And once again, uh, I don't know how many times I've had this video, that having one less child, which they always word it having one less child, or is it one fewer children, whichever the grammatically correct way of saying that is, uh, they never say just having no children at all, but so they weighted that as a 60, as a 60. Uh, having one less child, give yourself 60 points, and then weighs 2 to 10. Uh, going down the list, I think the biggest one was maybe a 2. I can't remember where going vegan was on the list. And, and once again, guys, I need to make it 100% clear for the record, number one, I am not a vegan, although I do not eat beef or seafood. I am not a vegan, but I 100% support people going vegan. But if you think going vegan, particularly if you're thinking about going vegan and you're also thinking about having a child, thinking that going vegan is uh, is doing anything to save this planet. Now, it is saving the lives of the animals you will never eat. So from an animal rights perspective, uh, obviously I'm just not as spiritual as you are. So you, you can't argue that, uh, that you will not be responsible for the horrific lives and deaths particularly of these factory-farmed animals uh, that I'm getting ready to go eat this factory-farmed pig when I finish uh, this video. But once again, uh, as this chart uh, illustrates, uh, it was by a factor of somewhere around 80 to 1, uh, having one last child versus... Uh, going vegan to save the planet. And so I put that out there and as I expected, I was kind of surprised I only had to ban two people from Collapse Chronicles. So I only have from this channel from ever commenting again. Uh, I'm surprised. I figured I would have to ban five people. I only had to ban two of them. And I did not ban Laurie, uh, but I did want to read Laurie's comment uh, waiting for me this morning on that uh, video. Take it away, Laurie. <clears throat> Going vegan is the least 
we can do. It, meaning going vegan, is the biggest difference to reduce emissions, pollution, deforestation, water use, species extinctions, and a whole lot of suffering of innocent animals. It is something we can do without waiting for politicians to get the memo. And then she uh, sent me this article from the Guardian's Environment Desk titled, well, this is from May of 2018, titled, Avoiding Meat and Dairy is the single biggest way to reduce your impact on Earth. And if I had a bullshit detector button, yes, on this channel, I have this pelleated woodpecker flying around today entertaining me. Uh, if I had a bullshit detector button, uh, uh, I would be slamming it. Uh, and, and what's interesting is, is the Guardian, uh, as, I, as I mentioned before, and you can still find this article on here, it was actually the Guardian that did the best representation of this. Uh, this idea about having one less child. Uh, what they did is they put the top 10 ways of your own individual consumer and lifestyle choices so that you can make as an individual in your own life to save this planet by reducing your environmental impact. So what they did, they made it the solar system, the sun and the nine planets. Okay, so here is the sun, which is having one less child, and then every other, in the other nine, you know, options two through ten were the planets like, I don't know if Jupiter might have been going vegan or getting ditching your car, uh, you know, being the planet Jupiter, and Pluto was no doubt, uh, getting LED light bulbs. We don't even need to get into the Jevons Paradox rant about these uh, LED lights that clueless morons such as myself have all over the place. Uh, so that was probably the planet Pluto, but what they were showing graphically is that you add up all of the planets or the options two through ten to reduce, is that a chippy out there like that, to reduce your environmental footprint and they do not begin to add up to the size of the sun. You, you take options two through ten, you add them all together and it adds up to a tiny fraction of having one fewer child. Uh, and again, they never go there having no children at all. So anyway, this was my response to uh, Laurie. <clears throat> Laurie, by an order of magnitude of 80 to 1, according to the chart I just read, by an order of magnitude of 80 to 1 over going vegan, which I fully support folks doing, <clears throat> not breeding, not breeding is the only thing we can do to make one iota of difference. Okay, just so anybody does not understand this, a childless carnivore, a childless meat eater, asterisk, and one who does not eat, beef or seafood, although I would say a childless meat eater who does eat beef and seafood, driving a Hummer is doing more to save the planet than an army of vegan breeders driving electric cars, period. 
and uh, it's the the Guardian that has done the best job ever. So what does this? I'm just going to read the first couple of paragraphs of this hilarious fake news from the Guardian of from two years ago. Avoiding meat and dairy is the single biggest way to reduce your impact on Earth. Avoiding meat and dairy products is the single biggest way to reduce your environmental impact on the planet. Yes. Uh, there you go. We have fake news in the Guardian. And then, I'm not going to read this, uh, this whole article. We've all heard this big lie before. Uh, nowhere, well, I don't know if the word overpopulation is ever mentioned in this story, if suggesting not having children uh, is, is anywhere uh, in this story. And also what's not in this story is how they lump beef in with all the other, uh, you know, criminals mainly pork uh, and chicken are, you know, the two big ones, never mentioning that beef has an environmental uh, footprint like a cow, a beef cow, has an environmental ecological footprint like four times the size of a pig, a chicken, or a dairy cow. And seafood uh, like any kind of seafood is even a lot bigger than that of a beef cow. Uh, so that the environmental impact of a pig or a chicken, and I am not saying on any level that pigs or chickens are good for this planet, okay, but the ecological footprint of a pig, a chicken, or a dairy cow is a lot closer to a bean or a potato than it is to a beef cow or seafood. So if you want to still be a meat eater uh, and reduce your ecological impact of eating meat by about 75 percent, you eliminate beef and seafood out of your diet and you will um, decrease your meat eating, meat eating ecological footprint by about 75 percent. There are plenty of studies out there uh, which I've mentioned before pointing this out. That is uh, if you do not want to go vegan all the way, uh, this is the choice I made 10 years ago. I stopped eating beef and seafood. Uh, so anyway, all of this talk is making me hungry and I have a factory farmed pig thawing out uh, on my kitchen counter and uh, I'm gonna go tend to that and then I'm going to get out there and enjoy this outlandishly gorgeous day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization while I still can and definitely encourage you to do the same and don't breed don't breed Sancho Panza I don't think is a breeder Bye, guys.